In the beginning, there was something so strange, so foreign to our understanding, that even the most brilliant minds in science continue to debate its nature. It's said that all the matter, energy, space, and even time itself were once compressed into an unimaginably small and infinitely dense point. This mass then underwent an explosion, or more accurately, a rapid expansion, that gave rise to everything we now know, atoms, molecules, stars, galaxies, and even life itself. This event has long been known as the Big Bang. For decades, the Big Bang theory stood as the cornerstone of modern cosmology. It provided a cohesive framework for understanding the observable universe. Scientists used it to explain the expansion of space, the microwave background radiation that permeates the cosmos, and the abundance of light elements like hydrogen and helium. These observations, combined with powerful mathematical models, have made the Big Bang theory one of the most successful theories in science. But what if it's not the whole story? Recent research is beginning to challenge the idea that the Big Bang was the absolute beginning of everything. A growing number of physicists now propose that the universe may be part of a far more complex and ancient system, one in which expansion and contraction occur in a never-ending cycle. This concept, known as cyclic cosmology, has roots in both ancient philosophy and cutting-edge physics. Even renowned physicist Brian Cox has raised questions about the traditional Big Bang narrative. He argues that it's deeply problematic to suggest that something can come from nothing. After all, if space and time began at the Big Bang, then what preceded it? What was the cause? These questions have haunted physicists and philosophers alike for generations. Adding to the mystery, recent discoveries made by the James Webb Space Telescope have cast fresh doubts on the Big Bang's role as the universe's definitive beginning. Some of its observations have revealed galaxies that appear far too developed for their supposed age, suggesting that cosmic structures may have formed earlier than the Big Bang model allows. This raises a profound and fundamental question. If the Big Bang wasn't the beginning, then what was? Join us on Wave's discovery as we journey into the depths of cosmic history, exploring the boldest and most exciting theories in modern science. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with the latest discoveries about our universe and beyond. Let's revisit what we do know. According to the classic Big Bang theory, the universe began around 13.8 billion years ago. In the beginning, it was unimaginably small, hot, and dense, smaller than a single atom. Within the first few minutes, nuclear reactions gave birth to the elements we find in nature today. As the universe expanded and cooled, stars and galaxies began to form. Astrophysicists have gathered extensive evidence in support of this model. They've studied the cosmic microwave background, faint echoes of the universe's early days, and found its patterns match perfectly with predictions made by Big Bang cosmology. The relative abundance of hydrogen and helium in the universe also matches calculations from the Big Bang model. On paper, everything checks out. Yet, there is a catch. As our understanding of physics improves, we begin to realize that the Big Bang theory is incomplete. Specifically, it cannot fully explain the very first moments of the universe, what happened at time zero. The mathematics of general relativity tells us that at the beginning, all matter and energy were compressed into a single point of infinite density known as a singularity. But this concept defies logic and cannot be tested experimentally. It's essentially where our current understanding breaks down. To move beyond this conceptual dead end, scientists are looking for a new theory, one that can unify gravity with quantum mechanics and explain conditions at the earliest possible moment. That's where string theory enters the conversation. String theory proposes that all particles in the universe are actually tiny vibrating strings of energy. It aims to provide a unified framework that includes all the fundamental forces of nature, gravity, electromagnetism, and the nuclear forces, especially at extremely high energies, like those believed to exist at the moment of the Big Bang. From this theoretical playground emerges a compelling idea, the ekpyrotic universe. Derived from a Greek word meaning conflagration or cosmic fire, this concept suggests that the Big Bang wasn't a unique, one-time event. 
Instead, it may have been caused by the collision of higher dimensional brins in a multiverse setting. According to this idea, our universe is just one of many in a higher dimensional space, and its birth was triggered by the interaction of massive, floating sheets of energy in extra dimensions. This vision radically alters how we understand the universe's birth. Instead of something from nothing, we may be looking at a transition, a transformation from one cosmic phase to another. This brings us to cyclic cosmology, a model that envisions the universe not as a one-time explosion, but as a cosmic heartbeat, a repeating cycle of expansion, collapse, and rebirth. This idea was revitalized and given rigorous mathematical grounding by Nobel Prize-winning physicist Sir Roger Penrose. Penrose noticed something extraordinary. When you push the laws of physics to their extremes, the beginning and the end of the universe may look surprisingly similar. The Big Bang's hot, dense state and the distant future's cold, empty state can be mapped onto each other using a mathematical technique called conformal transformation. This transformation preserves the shape of space-time while stretching or compressing its size. At the end of time, after all the stars have burned out and black holes have evaporated through Hawking radiation, the universe will be nothing but scattered photons drifting through infinite space. In this state, size becomes meaningless. Time itself may lose its meaning. And according to Penrose, this cold, stretched-out universe becomes indistinguishable from the hot, compressed state of the Big Bang, marking the beginning of a new cycle. In other words, our universe may be a phoenix, endlessly rising from its own ashes. This model, called conformal cyclic cosmology, proposes that the universe is an eternal sequence of eons, each one ending in what looks to us like a vast, empty death, but which immediately gives rise to the birth of the next. Yet Penrose's theory goes even further. He proposes that quantum fluctuations, random, spontaneous changes in energy at the smallest scales, leave subtle imprints on each new universe. These quantum fingerprints might survive across eons. Remarkably, scientists are now searching the cosmic microwave background for these signals, hunting for evidence that a previous universe may have left its mark on our own. If found, these traces could revolutionize cosmology. It would be the first evidence that our universe had a predecessor, perhaps even an infinite number of them. This leads us to a deeper philosophical dilemma. Even if the universe is eternal and cyclical, what sparked the first cycle? Could these cycles have existed forever, without any beginning at all? Or does there still need to be an initial cause, an origin for the pattern itself? Physicists consider three possibilities. No physical explanation exists the cycles are fundamental. They simply are. An infinite chain of universes. Each universe arises from the end of the one before it, with its quantum properties passed along like cosmic DNA. A closed-loop universe, where the beginning and end are causally connected in a single, self-sustaining cycle. All three options attempt to sidestep the uncomfortable notion of a first cause a moment that demands an uncaused origin, a notion that clashes with scientific reasoning. By imagining an infinite sequence or a self-contained loop, these models aim to explain the cosmos entirely within the laws of physics, avoiding metaphysical speculation. In the realm of quantum mechanics, Penrose's idea gains further depth. In this theory, systems exist in multiple states simultaneously until they are observed. He suggests that the collapse of quantum states could influence how each cycle unfolds, injecting randomness into the birth of every new universe. This randomness could be why no two cycles are ever exactly alike. From a scientific standpoint, the appeal of cyclic models lies in their explanatory power. They eliminate the singularity, the something from nothing problem, and the mystery of the Big Bang's origin. But they also raise tantalizing questions. Can we ever prove such cycles exist? Can echoes from previous universes be detected? While these ideas are still speculative, they are grounded in serious mathematics and are being actively tested. The James Webb Space Telescope, for instance, may help clarify the early stages of cosmic evolution by revealing structures far older than previously thought possible. If we detect anomalies in ancient radiation or galaxies that defy current models, it could be the smoking gun that breaks open this mystery. 
The universe is no longer just a place, it's a story. A vast, ever-evolving story whose beginning might lie in its end, and whose end might just be another beginning. So what do you think? Is our universe part of an infinite loop? Could we be living in just one chapter of an endless cosmic saga? Let us know in the comments. And if you found this video fascinating, make sure to like it, share it with fellow space enthusiasts, and subscribe to Space Loop. Hit the notification bell so you never miss a journey through the stars, the fabric of space-time, and the infinite possibilities that lie beyond.